just dressing my tyres with this tyre dress I got from the wheel specialist when I had my wheels refurbished around 18 months ago when we stayed at Durham Caravan and Motorhome Club site. Anyway, it's August 2023 and we're off to a Caravan and Motorhome Club CL in the morning. It's called Drake House and it's near Clitheroe in Lancashire. So being a certified location, it ticks lots of boxes. All five pitches are hard standing. They're all fully serviced with your own tap and drain and it's 16 amp hookup. Oh, and it's uh, adults only. It's got a toilet and shower uh, with free hot water, free Wi-Fi and TV and mobile phone reception is good. And all this for £30 a night. We'll see you on the journey in. Drake House has got a long single track driveway and it's important we don't get there before one because we don't want to meet anybody leaving side. Uh, so what we're going to do is pull in a lay-by on the A59 which is about three miles from site um, because we've brought a, a picnic uh, lunch and flask. And we did this last month when we went to Caton Village Caravan Club site and we enjoyed it. Um, the other thing is, if we eat a bit earlier, we'll enjoy your tea better. Break over. No crumbs, Chris. We're heading for a village 2.5 miles north of Clitheroe, and it's called West Bradford. Not to be confused with the city of Bradford in West Yorkshire. Well, that's 27 miles away. We'll see you on the road in. Please turn left in 400 yards onto A671 towards Clear the Room. We're turning off the A59 onto Pim left. Pimlico Link Road. The hitch is creaking. Can you Please hear it? Follow the road for one mile. 1.5 mile from site. This is a narrow bridge here over the river. So we've got to be careful. Do you have to toot your horn? I'm not sure if there's another car coming. A new bit of wall that somebody's gone through that. Oh, lovely. <laughs> We're now in the village of West Bradford. A little bit narrow here. Nice village though. It is. Uh, three rivers, it's left here. It's entered the best kept village competition. It has. What, can you remember what year it was? No, this year. They, they this year? Oh, right. Yeah, they've entered again. So we're turning right in 100 yards. Now turn right. Follow the road for one mile. It's actually 0.6 of a mile. In 300 yards, you will have reached your destination. We go straight past this Three Rivers Woodland Park entrance. Oh, it's a bit narrow here. have reached your destination. Yeah, here we are. Drake House. Passing places are alright if you're not towing you can reverse back into them.
This looks nice. To give you an idea where we are in the country, we are 32 miles east of Blackpool and approximately three miles north of Clitheroe, about here. Well, here we are all set up on pitch one. This is the electric hookup. Now, because I've set the caravan further over, I've had to get out the 25 metre hookup cable. The 10 metre one's too short. So uh, that's a novelty. So let's have a look at the drain and water. I've tuned the TV into the caravan L in its travel position and got all the stations. Mobile phone signal's good. And here's the water and grey drain set up. And as you can see here, I've used two of my collapse extendable pipes. And there's my uncoiled 25 metre cable. Behind our pitch is the toilet and shower and the bins. And behind me is the chemical toilet disposal point. The only lighting on site is the wall light outside the entrance to the shower, toilet and information room. Oh, and the noise you can hear in the background is the babbling brook just below the toilet emptying point. It's a low level light and it brightens as you approach it. And there's recycling here. It's rare to find a CL with a shower and toilet. Uh, there's one shower, one toilet. They are clean and functional. And there's also an information area. Toilet here with a sense of humour. There's lots of information and maps, leaflets for walks, whiteboards is a great idea. Just look at all these lovely messages. Let's have a look at the toilet emptying point. There's also a grey waste emptying point if you're not going to use your own grey point. That's Pendle Hill behind me. And this is the site. So this is the view from pitch three and pitch four. And this is pitch five. And carrying on with the view from pitch five. And these are the top two pitches. These are Anne's sheep and apparently there's some friendly ones amongst them and they let you stroke them. I think it's these two that are friendly ones, these two white ones. I think so, she said white faced. And there's a couple of hens here. Looks like they're coming to say hello. They've got a nice cosy place to roost, look. time do they go to bed, Anne? Uh, they're on the way now. <laughs> bed. Good night. Oh, 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 they want to come back out. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the sheep behind us tonight. Hey, up, hey, up. Are you enjoying that, eh? Oh. enjoying it, eh? That's hey. lovely. <laughs> Oh, they're all coming, Robert. They're all coming Come to see you. They all want to scratch. <laughs> for me queue, ladies, for me queue. <laughs> Come on, then. Oh, 
that's so sweet that is so sweet aren't you beautiful you are oh you've even stopped eating for me do you know I'm honoured you had enough <laughs> Anne's brought us a caterpillar what she found on the doorstep it's called an elephant hawk moth I'll oh hawk moth Elephant hawk moth. Yeah. And then I thought, oh, that's a funny name. Why is it called elephant hawk moth? Because the nose, which it fits in that, goes out like a trunk and comes back in again. And that's exactly <laughs> what it did. It like looks like an elephant trunk and back in. So that makes sense now. So if you if you Google elephant hawk moth, and it's a moth that goes, it like goes purpley and green. Um, so we've got it in a jar in the kitchen now, and we've got another fluffy one. So they just keep arriving at the door. <laughs> So then when we open the jar, there's oh. a daddy long legs inside when I put the grass in. So we've got all sorts of Ronnie's missing out on this. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll stay like that for um the winter and then uh it'll come out and then you can let it go as a butterfly. Oh. But it's actually the butterfly thing's unbelievable. The moth thing, it's proper pink and something else. Yeah, it's very nice here. We're gonna be alright. The thirty pound per night site fee charge includes 10 units of electricity per night well we're here for five nights so if we use more than 50 units we'll be charged for any extra accordingly it's tea time now so we'll see you tomorrow soggy wet day in today look how the water's running off the car i washed it with autoglim wash shampoo sprayed it with autoglim aqua wax dried it off and then gave it a treatment of Diamond Bright Ceramic Glaze. It's half past seven in the evening and Pendle Hill is still shrouded in rain clouds and has been most of the day. But the good thing is, it's give three nice days ahead of us. We're gonna walk into Clitheroe today. We were gonna walk down this footpath at the side of Drake House Brook, but this uh, crossing point's a bit too deep. It's gonna come over as walking boots, so I think for the first part, we're going to have to walk the road. There's a pub here in the village called Three Millstones Inn, restaurant and tea room. We've walked the road and we've got to the River Ribble Bridge and the water's quite high after yesterday's rain. Looking downstream, we're going to take the left-hand footpath. We're walking to Clitheroe on the Ribble Way and there's lots of wild orchids out at this time of year and they're very fragrant. We've come across this bench by the river so we thought we'd do a pit stop and get the flask and biscuits out. Are you enjoying tea and biscuits by the river? Yeah, lovely. Some black clouds though. Yeah, I think we'll be all right today. We've come out at Cross Hill Nature Reserve and we're here at number 11, which is the Otter Sculpture, which is just behind you. And we're gonna make our way along the Ribble Way to the road. The Otter was carved out of stone in 2007. River down there. We're at the end of the sculpture park. We've got to the road, and now we're gonna walk the road into Clitheroe Town. Well, Clitheroe is an ancient market town, and it dates back to Saxon times. And here's Clitheroe Town Centre. Here's Clitheroe Market. We'll have a look round. He's eyeing up the meat. <laughs> there you can see Castle up there. Pause and zoom board here. It's not a bad little market. Bigger than what we expected, isn't it? Yeah. There are lots of places to eat in Clitheroe Town Centre. Lots of independent shops. And this is a view down Moor Lane. Shall I have my reading done? <laughs>
Look at these here. All the Clithero hot and spicy sausages have gone low, £9.40 a kilo. We've got to the top of King Street and this is the view looking down Castle Street. And this is the view looking up Castle Street towards the castle. At the top of Castle Street is the main castle entrance. It's a 12th century Norman castle and it's the smallest Norman castle in England. There's also a museum and there's 16 acres of landscape gardens. Drake House CL is somewhere there and you've got a good view over the town and we can see from our caravan Pendle Hill there. Have a look in here. Nice big fireplace for roasting your chestnuts, Robert. Yeah. Door there, but that's a staircase. Well, we've had a lovely day in Clitheroe, and what a difference a bit of sunshine makes. I'll show you our walk to Clitheroe Town. Here's Drake House Farm CL. We wanted to cross the brook here, but we couldn't. We wanted to walk down this footpath through the woods. But we went along the drive, back to the road, down the road, through the village, across the river bridge, and then we took the Ribble Way along the river to this road, and then we walked down this road to Clitheroe Town. And here's the castle. For our walks on this trip, I've used OS Explorer map OL41. It's a lovely evening. Look at the sky above our caravan. Look at this, 8 o'clock in the morning. Pendle Hill, low lime mist. It tends to change all the time. One of the farm cats there. He's had a look round sight this morning. We're going to walk to Sawley Abbey today. It's an English heritage ruin. Uh, we've walked to the end of Drake House driveway, turn right and come to the top of the road here through this gate and we're now on this bridle way and we're just checking out the viewpoint that uh, Anne told us about. The viewpoint is at this barn you can see behind me where you can take in the glorious sunsets but if you don't want to walk all the way up the road you can park your car here at the gate. There's uh, I'd say a couple of spaces here. Well we've certainly picked the right day for a view. Pendle Hill there. I know you can see the cement works. This is going to be fun. I'm not looking forward to this. We're cutting through Cobb Manor. This looks a really nice place. Wow, just look at this. It's really beautiful. If you didn't walk the footpaths, you wouldn't spot this because you can't see it from any road. Well, we've never done this before. We've stopped at this bench in Grindleton village to get his flask and biscuits out. Gayla thought I'd prepared the flask because I put the flask in the bag and I thought Gayla had prepared the flask. And we've just poured it out and there's no milk and tea bags are still in there. Look at it. <laughs> oh gosh, so. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh. I don't like it. <laughs> Another 10 minutes and we should be at Sawley Abbey. Well, we're here at Sawley Abbey, founded in 1147 by William de Percy. And it's fenced off. <laughs> Looking at these carvings, it would have been impressive in its heyday. I'm going to have a look in here. I think it's a drain. 
it carries on under here. It's a pity you can't go in. You can even see some original tile floor down there, look. There's a few walls left standing, but it, well, it's mainly foundations. And it's obviously free entry, as you can tell. I think I've stood inside a fireplace. Snoozing sheep. Oh, bless them. They're not one bit bothered about us. I bet they're quite tame. Look, I'm going to scratch. <laughs> oh, you're lovely. We're going to walk the Ribble Way now, along the river, back to the caravan. Have you had enough? Hmm. What's mileage we've done? Eight and a half mile. Quite a lot, isn't it? Too much. Especially when weather's warm in August. Mm. Anyway, we're in car tomorrow. Good. It's a good job. <laughs> you look like you've had it. <laughs> I have. This was our walk to Sawley Abbey, but first, from Drake House Farm, we went down the driveway to the road, turn right, up the road, through a gate, onto this bridleway to this barn here, which gave us the panoramic views over Pendle Hill. We doubled back to this point and then took this bridleway along here, across the grounds of Cobb Manor, down here to this road here, which took us to the bench at this junction. And then we continued through the village to this point, turn left, and that took us to Sawley Abbey here. But if you want to take your car, uh, there's ample parking along this road. Tonight, Pendle Hill is shrouded in sunshine. We've been that busy, we've nearly missed the sunset. Pendle Hill's now got the reflection of the red sunset. Last day today, and we're gonna go out in the car, do a bit of exploring, and there's our pitch there, pitch number one. The first port call is Waddington Village, which is less than two miles from the caravan site. And we're told there, there are three pubs there, um, Lower Buck, Higher Buck, and Waddington Arms. And they're very popular with people staying at the CL. We're in Waddington Village. Uh, it's 1.8 mile to the Higher Buck. It has a post office and village store, and across the road is the higher book. And in front of us, you can see the Waddington Arms. As you can see, it's a very well kept village. It's a charming village. It's well worth a visit if you're staying at Drake House Farm. From Waddington Village, we're going to drive 9.5 miles to New Church in Pendle Village. So we're here at the parish church of St. Mary's in the village of New Church in Pendle. Back in 1612, the trial of the Pendle witches are amongst the most famous witch trials in English history. The most famous case being the wrongly convicted Alice Nutter, who is buried here. So let's go and have a look. We've come all this way and the church is closed, but this is the grave of probably Alice Nutter. The Pendle witch trial information can be found in the church porch. There's also information on the Eye of God and the witch's grave question mark this is the grave of the nutter family well according to the information in the church porch alice isn't buried here there's the eye of god and he watches over humanity Bit of conflicting information there. Turns out Alice Nutter isn't buried here, it's just a, a Nutter grave, uh, but the internet said she was. 
but we, we're leaving here now and we're heading for an English heritage Worley Abbey Gatehouse and it's free entry. I'll show you where Pendle Hill and New Church in Pendle Village is in relation to Drake House. Here's Pendle Hill and this is the summit and here is St Mary's Church in New Church in Pendle. Well we've got here at, uh, what's it called? Worley Abbey Gatehouse which is just over there, I'll show you in a minute and we sat in, um, I forgot what it's called and we sat on a bench in English Martyrs Church Garden having our flask and biscuit and it's a nice cup of tea today <laughs> I wonder if this is the Cistercian Abbey related to Worley Abbey Gatehouse. Ah, it was the Lay Brothers dormitory we've just filmed. One of the earliest buildings on the Abbey site. This is Worley Abbey Gatehouse. Next to the gatehouse are Worley Archers and there are 49 Archers. It carries the Clitheroe to Blackburn line. It was completed in 1850 using 7 million bricks made by 13 brick makers by hand. And it's still the longest viaduct in Lancashire at 679 yards. drive into the Trough of Boland Pass and we are 1,160 feet above sea level at the moment. We're getting closer to the Trough of Boland, look there's Trough Road. We'll pull up here on the left. Well we've certainly picked the right day to uh, drive the Trough of Boland Pass. There's lovely purple heather is it? Yes, yeah, and green ferns out. Yeah, it makes for a scenic drive. Some sheep down there. Here we're climbing, oh, sheep in the road. Looks like we're climbing out of the trough. Wonder what the view's like over this uh, this brow. No oh, road narrows up here. Though. Oh, it's cattle grid. City of Lancaster. Over Wiresdale. 970 feet. Just look at all that heather, it's gorgeous. This is the forest of Boland, it's basically scrub ground, isn't it? It is, yeah. The forest of Boland is 312 square miles and it's one of 36 areas of outstanding natural beauty in England. It is beautiful, isn't it? It is, and on a day like today, we're seeing it at its finest. We've come through the Trough of Boland Pass, and we're now here. And Whittendale Hanging Stones here is the centre of Great Britain. 
We've got to Jubilee Tower and it's a bit blowy up here. We've got 360 degree views from up here. <laughs> it's windy. I think that's Morecambe Bay over there. Is it windy? <laughs> There's a car park there. It's a good size one. That's it. Get back to the caravan now. Let's go and have a look at information board. Look at this plaque in the car park. They found a coffin when they were constructing it. Throw that blue cobwebs off. We've got 1% left, so I'm gonna use power bank to charge the phone up. It's been a lovely day today, hasn't it? Yeah, enjoyed really enjoyed it. it for a change. Yeah, visiting various places in the car. Ready for my tea though. Yeah. Here's Waddington Village, just under two miles from Drake House. And the road we took for Trofford Bowling Pass is this road here up to Newton and then we turn left along here. Along here through Dunsop Bridge, this is a quaint little village, turn right and we follow this road up and here we have the Trough of Bowland and then we continued along here along here and here we have Jubilee Tower with the 360 degree viewpoint. We've had a really good time here and we've even enjoyed our rainy day caravan day in. It's lovely and peaceful here, very relaxing and we've got on really well with Anne the owner. Uh, we've enjoyed meeting the sheep and all creatures great and small. Well, there's security cameras for peace of mind. All pictures are good and set around a large circular lawn. You can turn your caravan around to face the views on pictures three and four. It's been a good base for exploring. It's good for walking and there's lots you can drive to as well. So full marks from us. We've enjoyed seeing the many changing faces of Pendle Hill while we've been pitched here at uh, Drake House Farm CL. Uh, but Pendle Hill is, of course, most famously associated with the witch trials of 1612. That's because those accused lived in this area. Um, and also the Snow Witch, who becomes visible on the hillside as snow begins to melt, leaving the eerie shape of a witch wearing a pointed hat on a broomstick. Uh, Gail has just drawn that shape that you see on the hillside and it appears just over yonder. And finally Pendle Hill has a long association with the paranormal and on that note we'll bid you farewell and hope to see you again soon. Well that's it, we're sad to be leaving and our final electricity usage was I forgot. Well, we had 50 units within our pitch price and uh, we've used 41. So we've not done too bad actually for five nights. Bye, Drake House. Bye. <laughs> I've had a lovely time. <laughs>